Hello again. Welcome to Attack Release. Today we have another tiny modular synthesizer made up of modules I've taken out of my larger case. This is something I do often just to kind of couple things together that I wouldn't normally put together or learn new ways of using the modules in a smaller instrument here, a little more focused. So let's talk about what we have today. We have Pamela's new workout. It is a clock divider, it is envelopes, it is random voltage. Um, it does a lot of things, a lot of modulation stuff. Uh, incredibly useful in about 99% of my patches usually. This is the Dope for Precision Adder, the A185 II. Um, I may or may not use this, but sometimes I like to run pitches through this. Uh, it's a very playable way to just add an octave or an interval. This is U Platts. It's a mini version of Platts by Mutable Instruments made by Tall Dog Electronics. This is an oscillator that does a lot of things. It can do percussion, it can do a whole bunch of different uh, voices and modulate all of that in different ways. This is the Instruo Psych. This is going to be the heart of what I have in mind here today. This is four oscillators in one. Um, so it can do a lot of cool stuff with chords and intervals. This is the Noise Engineering Pons Asinorum. It's an envelope generator. It can also act as an LFO. This is the DivKid Oct. This is eight triangle LFOs that are unsynced. The little modulation powerhouse. This is the After Later Audio Popple based on the mutable ripples filter. This is essentially the same as ripples but it's two filters well it's one filter but you can offset left and right so you can kind of use it as two filters um, i use it often in that way this is the noise engineering desmodus versio it is a very beautiful reverb and delay and then uh, i just have this little one u intelligel uh, reverb delay chorus effects module up here so let's begin first thing i want to do is get psych going. So I'm going to take the output of psych and just run it into my filter from my filter into the Desmodus Versio, out of Desmodus Versio into my output. Okay. Uh, let me turn up our filter. We'll hear that. So Psych has four oscillators, and they each have a volts per octave input for pitch. If you plug just into this first one, it will normalize that pitch to all the others, or it'll break that normalization, and you can send different pitches to each oscillator. And it has these built-in VCA modes where you can kind of crossfade or shift between the oscillators, so you'll only hear some and not others. And you can see that up top here. And then there's some cool modes too where whoop, you can offset the oscillators in different intervals. So it'll be octaves, fourths, and fifths of the root pitch. Which is beautiful. And you can see that also. And then, once you're in an interval, you can... detune that as well from unison to detune at the interval that you've set. So we'll just go back to unison. So there's a noise and it's just droning away, but we want to send it some notes. And to do that, we're gonna use Pamela's new workout. I'm gonna go from voice one into input one for a pitch on the psych. And it's not gonna sound good, but you'll notice the pitch change. It's basically just going high, low, high, low, on, off, on, off. So what we need to do, we'll go into input one. I'm gonna turn that down because that's very annoying. Um, 
and we're going to change the output of pans to random voltage. So now you hear it just is sending pitch around and it sounds awful. It's because it's just random volts. It's not in any key, but what we can do is quantize that pitch coming out of PAMS and we are going to quantize it to a minor scale. But now it's also doing really low notes and then really, really high notes. So that also sounds terrible. So what we can do is adjust our level so that it is not giving us such a wide range of notes. Ooh, there it goes. I want to slow that down a bit. And let's bring in a little reverb. So right now it is just sending random notes from a minor scale into psych. And that sounds okay, but I think we want to be a little more melodic. And to do that, we can loop some of those notes to lock in something we like that we take from that randomness, right? Let's do eight beats. And now it's just going to repeat. We want a little more than that. Let's do 16. Okay. And then within that loop, we can then adjust, you know, our level and our offsets. So if we wanted to have the same kind of level, the same spread of notes, but we wanted it to be higher, we could just adjust the offset. So we're taking that same spread of notes and just having it live up here. But I think I like it lower. So, like I said, right now that is just controlling all four oscillators, changing the pitch of them. And we can go in and out of those four oscillators using this VCA, but they're all playing the same pitch. So they all kind of sound the same. So let's change that, right? So I'm going to go into output two on PAMS, and I'm going to change that again to a random waveform. I'm going to bring my level down quite a bit. to shift the phase on this so it's not striking on the same beat as output one. Get 25%. Cool. And I'm going to send that in to input two. Whoa. Oh, we didn't quantize it. Hear how terrible that sounds? Let's quantize it. Minor scale. It's getting somewhere. I also want to slow that down. It's going too slow. Go all the way. Divided by eight. Now there, we have two pitches 
coming in on two oscillators. Um, and they're kind of interweaving pitches within the minor scale to give us different intervals. And then oscillators three and four are just following what oscillator one tells it to do. So let's tell oscillator three and four to do something different. Um, I'm going to come out of three on pans. I should set it up first so it sounds a little less ugly. based on where this slider is set. But what we can do is use CV to essentially move that slider for us. So let's do that. So I'm going to take yet another random voltage on output 5 on PAMS, and I'm going to send that into my CV here. So, well, if you can see, but now as five changes, you'll see this blink. So it's making a shift. So every time that moves, it's giving us a random octave shift, fourth or fifth, on one of these oscillators. We're getting a kind of a repeating pattern uh, from our pitches, this kind of sequence of notes. But then we're getting random variations of those pitches through this intervallic slider being manipulated with control voltage, which is cool. It's sounding really beautiful. I want to modulate pitch a little bit to give it kind of this vibrato. So making it sort of feel like these, you know, these big cinematic strings. We're going to use Oct. And we're going to go into the FM modulation here. So, so, just so you can hear what this is doing. You know, it's taking pitch up and down, up and down. 
but we're just going to do it a tiny little bit. Let's actually go into one of the faster ones. And I'll bring it back to taste. little vibrato there and then what's happening on the um, Desmodus Versio over here our reverb is we're set to the shimmer setting there's a couple different settings there's kind of a, a standard reverb which sounds great uh, there's a distorted reverb kind of introduces uh, some color and saturation to the reverb and then there's a shimmer, which I like for this. It's kind of uh, pitched up reverb. Feels really big and kind of choral and cinematic for this. And you can also modulate uh, pitch of your reverb too. So you hear that really fast. That's just the reverb. We do that very slowly also. And it's just giving this like emotional warble happening in the reverb there. This is great. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's use plats. We're going to send pitch in the same way. Random wave, low level, quantize it to our minor scale. We're going to send that into plats volts per octave here into our filter and speaking of filter let's just like is doing nice things there and then uh, for plats we'll go out of our filter and I'm going to go into this delay into our output then. A little shorty guys. So there's pitch from Platts, but I don't want it to be doing that. So let's turn that down for now. I just want to have like little plucky pings from that. And then we'll set seven. Do that same thing, and we'll send that to our envelope. So, input of our envelope. Output of our envelope is going to go to our right side. Cool. So, I'm going to wait for that to come along. Here, plats a second. Uh, let's clock our delay. of attenuator and come out of oct 
nice and slow. And we're going to go into our cutoff. in and out. We can go back in and adjust what our loop is, right? So if we go back to zero, it's just giving us random pitches on oscillator one again. We've heard something we like, then we add beats to our loop. That's lower. What if we go reverb instead of delay on that plats? Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, okay. I'd like to have a reverb and a delay on that right now, but this will want to let you choose one can have a pre-delay, so it's almost like a single tap delay. I love this FSU button on the uh, Desmodus Versio. It just sort of... just adds a ton of feedback to the reverb and just like swells everything up. It's, it's really beautiful. So it's cool to be like if you have little moments you want to just build. Right? Yeah. How cool is that? You know what I want to do? I want to introduce maybe a bass or the option to. So I'm going to take the pitch to oscillator one of Psych. I'm going to run it through the dope fur precision adder, right? So now. We can pitch it down. So now we have a sub. I mean, it's already a sub, but now it's super sub. We can go even lower. Ooh. Let's just listen. relatively small setup here that we got something really big and really beautiful from. It's evolving but controlled based on the choices that we made. You know, it's like we're kind of a conductor that's leading 
this orchestra here in front of us. I think we're done. Comment, tell me what you liked and didn't. Subscribe if you are so inclined. I'll see you next time. Thank you.